holy shit, a review of a PlayStation 3 game and I'm not using a camera on a tripod? That's right, I am finally using my Elgato HD60 that I bought over a year ago and only used it for a fucking test video. So what do we have here? Anarchy reigns for the PlayStation 3. I remember seeing information about this game back about a month or two before it was released. Anarchy Reigns was developed by Platinum Games and published by Sega. It was released in 2012 in Japan and in 2013 everywhere else. Not only did it have a PlayStation 3 release, but it also can be found on the Xbox 360. Now, here's a funny story when I was looking for this game, and I probably mentioned it before on a podcast in the past, but here's a little refresher. A few months after it was released, I remember hearing a lot of good things about this game, and if I remember right, the Game Machine TV, now known as Dr. Strife, which you can find him over at Twitter, at the Dr. Strife, and you can find his YouTube account there. Anyways, Adam told me about this game, saying how great it was, and so on. So I figured, what the hell? I will go buy it, just based off what he said. So I called up GameStop, and asked him if they had Anarchy Reigns for the PlayStation 3, and no joke, the damn person behind the phone said, is that a Call of Duty DLC? I said, no, it's a new game by Platinum Games. He said, hold on sir, let me go look. So they didn't even have the game. I ended up going to a locally owned game store, and buying the game for pretty much 30 bucks, or twenty nine ninety nine. For a new game, that was kind of surprising. Now, in Japan, this game is known as Max Anarchy, which is a pretty cool name. Personally, I think it's a little bit better than Anarchy Reigns, but either way, both names are fine. Now, Anarchy Reigns might have characters that you may know from the game Mad World. This is actually a spiritual sequel to Mad World, and I know I should probably review that before this game, but you know what? Fuck it. Anarchy Reigns actually has two campaigns. The Black Side, which features Mad World main character Jack Kamen, and the White Side, which features Leo Victorian. Although the stories do parallel with one another, and it becomes known as the Red Side. The story takes place in a future world fictional city known as Altambra. Maximilian Caxton staged a, a jailbreak as he was arrested for murder of his wife and made his way to Altambra. The BPS, known as the Bureau of Public Safety, which Max used to be an agent for, are on lookout and looking to track him down and kill him. Leo is unconvinced that his former mentor could have killed his wife. He's actually determined to bring him back alive. At the same time, Jack Kamen is also searching for Max, while a series of robot drones try to kill him. Although, later on, Jack is reminded of the friendly fire killer of his adopted daughter Stella and is contacted by Jeannie Caxton which is Max's daughter and she tries to get Jack to help find her father. Now it's been said that Max was the officer who killed Stella so Jack wants to kick the shit or kill Max Caxton. Now some of the characters you'll come across will be Nikolai Dmitri Bullijan, the leader of the Strike One for the BPS. He is also looking for Max. Sasha Ivanov, another that is part of the BPS Strike One group and also working with Nikolai and Leo. Then a whole group of other characters, including ones from Mad World, such as Big Bull, Blacker Baron, Matilda, and Ren Ren. And then there's new characters like Leo, Durga, Edgar Oinky, and more. And then there's a variety of enemies that you will beat the shit out of. Anarchy Reigns has a open world vibe to it. It has you going all over the place. Not only that, there are two types of missions you can do. Free missions that you can do over and over and over again. And then there's the campaign or story missions, which tells you how this all plays out. There are action trigger events that will happen, such as a plane crash, a bombing, black hole, and a giant semi-truck that will change the gameplay environment, and it could help you out, fuck you over, or just do both at the same time. As you can see, this is a beat-em-up style game where you can beat the ever-loving piss out of your opponent, or saw them up with Jack Kamen's double-bladed chainsaw known as Gator Tooth. Anarchy Reigns is over-the-top, a bit gory, and just crazy as fuck at times. You can pick up objects and throw them, some are explosives, some will hurt and even kill your enemies, and it's just fucking awesome. There's also multiplayer for this game, and there are a few modes such as Battle Royale, Deathmatch, and Survival, and you can use weapons, signature kills, and so on to survive. Sadly, I can't show you that because nobody plays this fucker online anymore. Granted, it's understandable since this is not a current-gen console, but at the same time, it's a fucking damn shame. It would be fun to play against friends on here. The graphics for Anarchy Reigns are pretty damn nice. I like how the characters look. The level designs are nice. The world is very open. But not something you would see in like Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, and so on. It's still slightly restricted, but you can go to different areas which are quite large. The game is colorful with the lights of the cities and so on. The way the city looks is really cool. It has that post-apocalyptic style to it. The game doesn't slow down when you have a ton of enemies on screen or when shit is blowing up and mass chaos is happening. Nothing to really complain about. Platinum Games did a fucking great job 
job on this game. The music, well, I think it's great for this game. It actually fits perfectly, ranging from the music of the city, the music when you're in mission battles. It's a variety of different styles, ranging from metal rock to a mixture of rap slash hip-hop thrown in. Sure, it's not my type of music to listen to when I'm driving down the road or, you know, just at home relaxing, but it does fit this game. The sound effects from the fighting noises, the explosions, gunfire, and so on is great. The voiceover work is very well done. Steve Blum does the voice of Jack Kamen, and he's done a variety of movies, TV shows, and video games, ranging from Mortal Kombat 11, Metro Exodus, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, Bubble Bee, Batman the Telltale Series, Mighty Number no. 9, Poor Bastard, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Regular Show the Movie, Bullet Storm, Regular Show the TV Series, Dead Rising, and more. John Curry does the voice of Leo, and he's done games like Hitman, Dragon Age Inquisition, Dead Island Riptide, and the movie Beverly Hills Chihuahua 3. RFS Kenshin did the voice of Blacker Baron, and he has done stuff like Mad World, Gears of War 4, Dead Rising 3, Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death, Saints Row 4, Saints Row the Third, and more. A lot of these voiceover actors did a lot of cartoons, cartoon movies, comic book and superhero animated films, and even anime, which is pretty cool. And they do a fucking great job, although the mouth movement doesn't match their words in this game, which is kind of funny. It reminds me of something like a North America release of a Japanese action film, or a old Western movie that is just shitty put-together production. It's still pretty funny. The controls moving around is easy. Jumping and attacking is very easy to understand. Using your special or a weapon and throwing an object is very simple to do. The game is very easy to figure out. Besides, the first part of this game kind of has a tutorial so you can learn all this shit. The controls are very responsive as well, which is nice. No complaints here at all. Anarchy Reigns is definitely worth its price tag. It's a badass fun beat-em-up with lots of action, a very well-done story that takes around 8 to 12 hours to beat, depending on how good you are at this game. The gameplay is a lot of fun, although I wish there was some moves you could do outside of what you actually can do in this game. The characters are badass, the enemies, boss battles, and stories are fucking awesome. The graphics are very well done. Even to this day, I think the game looks fucking amazing. The music is well done and fits the game. The sound effects are nice, and the voiceover work is awesome. And then, obviously, the controls, very simple and easy to understand and I can't think of anyone that would get frustrated by it. On top of that, they are very responsive, which is perfect. There's definitely a lot going on in this game, and that's what I really enjoy about it. If you like beat-em-ups, as well as Mad World, definitely give Anarchy Reigns a try. I think you will love the hell out of this game. Also, Bayonetta does make an appearance in this game. Sadly, it's DLC, and I don't have that DLC, so I can't show you that. Now, if you want to pick up a copy of this game for yourself, it can be found at Walmart, at least online, for $9.99. Prices on eBay are $7.47 for a brand new factory sealed copy, $7.75, $6.74, $6.64, $8.75, $9.95, and prices in between. Really surprised that the game isn't more expensive or even tough to find, as I felt it flew under the radar for most gamers, and some of the reviews out there really kind of painted it in a bad light. They said it's good, but there's all these issues with the game, and I get it to a point. But you know what? I still think this game is a lot of fun and one of my favorite games from this generation. Now, it would be really fucking cool if Anarchy Reigns and Mad World got a remaster and released on all modern consoles and PC. Maybe it would stem enough interest for a brand new game. Maybe Mad World 2, Anarchy Reigns 2, maybe call it Mad Anarchy. That would just be amazing. I hope you enjoyed this review of Anarchy Reigns for the PlayStation 3. Thanks for watching. Die. 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 Die.